You take the app and you point it to a point, like, like over there. Uh, some friends told me about it and one of my friends uh, got enough money of it to buy a new smartphone and I thought, hey, I can get a new smartphone this way. This game is great. We love this game. I love this game. It's kind of uh, technology mixed with magic. That's what we do. Bitcoin is a cryptographically signed money system, sort of currency. Bitcoin is one of the possible solutions of a complex mathematical problem. Algorithm that just works and generates a, a finite amount of coins. To mine a Bitcoin actually means to find the solution of the problem. So there's a limit of how many coins there is, uh, there is going to be. The number of possible solutions is finite and is around 21 million. All, all my life I was thinking about, um, I don't know if you know that, that card game Magic the Gathering, that's a trading card game where people exchange these cards um, and I, I was always thinking about how, how can we bring that to the digital world in some way that you cannot copy the card. I was in Stuttgart at the hackerspace and somebody told me there are Bitcoin and uh, so I started to mine Bitcoin with graphic cards and I paid my rent <laughs> with Bitcoin. I got it, I got it. It was up there, and seriously, I, it was just hanging out there. I can't believe nobody had seen it in Republic yet. And I went up there, I climbed up the side of the wall, went up there, except I couldn't get back down. So I just kind of bombed it off the top of the roof and like landed. It's the most amazing thing. I finally got my 76th one. Since I started playing with the app, um, I didn't have to work again because I, I got like, um, I think 735, 0.1 uh, Bitcoin already. They want me to work, but I kind of have more fun like running around and like grabbing the Bitcoins before other people do. It's, it's, it's really rewarding. When I play this game, I collect Bitcoins um, for free only. I press a button to jump. I'm waiting to get to the 2001. The guy at the top of the table has got all these coins, but I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I've quit everything I've ever done, um, and it's gonna be my passion. It's my life. It's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll never work again in my life. I don't think I'm gonna work again in my life. We have Bitcoin. We never have to work anymore. I will never ever work anymore. Nobody gets back the funds anymore. So yes, this app does change our lives. Will change your life too. It's sick. It's incredible. We were the first ones and uh, it's been uh, quite a while now and other people saw it's being a success, not a flash in the pan and uh, started using it as well and that's how the Bitcoin Keats developed, which uh, this area is called by now. Come on, Robert. We are at Devil's Kitchen and we are selling Bitcoins. Welcome at Long Player Records, we accept Bitcoins here. Welcome at Cafe Floors, um, it's a coffee shop that accepts Bitcoins.
You can pay with the smartphone if you have the app for it. But also, there is a huge number that's the wallet, the address. And usually I use that huge number and type it here in my software and it works. They don't have the, the password for the network, so I maybe have to go to the corner because I know there is a free Wi-Fi there. <laughs> When I got here, I, uh, uh, Jörg already was, was able um, to, to accept Bitcoin 2011, but it was tedious. I had my notebook, I went in uh, here and paid with my notebook and it was um, but not, not a nice experience, so I, I wanted to take it mobile. I'm trying to use the network? No. No, I can't stay here? No. Okay, sorry. Bye-bye. So I uh, decided to start the, the wallet, <laughs> the Bitcoin wallet. For Android, for Android phones. Yeah, they have an app here on his day tablet where you type the price in euros and it generates a key and this QR code, this image that you could scan with your cell phone and then pay directly or just type this huge number on my software here, type the, the value in Bitcoin and send the payment and then this app will confirm that I've sent the payment. Aha! That's being paid with Bitcoin, by the way. The last time I, I risked my life because uh, I was jumping. Yeah, the game is plays in Berlin, and I was jumping over the spray, and uh, it was nearly to fall into the spray, and uh, it was. Dangerous. It gets really crazy if the coins are hidden on train tracks, for example, and you run there, and because everybody's running there, you can't wait for the train to pass because you have to be the first guy there. It was kind of dangerous once or twice. Yeah, that was pretty risky, but the thrill was worth it. Sometimes they are in, in areas where you shouldn't be, and there are security guards, so you have to make sure that they don't get you because they take your phone away, which takes your Bitcoin wallet away, and all the money is gone. I was playing a prototype of the game yesterday, uh, here at uh, Republican, one of the coins were over there on the roof. I had to grab it from with the app. And then I fell down here. The original developer is no one knows him. I've come across some people that allegedly said, you know, they were they were there in the first meetings. I don't know who he is uh, or who they were. Just like everybody else, I don't know. I think that actually the reason they're giving bitcoins away basically is to gather data. Um, I think they're basically paying people minuscule amounts of money to roam the city and explore spaces that haven't been mapped yet. I think they, they have fun actually watching the game. They might even have secret cameras somewhere. Taking money from those who already have too much and distributing them via these Bitcoin thingies. They might be somebody really famous and uh, or they might be somebody really poor who steals money. They got a lot of money from people who got rich in this crisis, you know, investors, and now they distribute that money back to the people. It's only a way, another way to advertise uh, their, their gamings. I think there is a scheme and I think that in the next couple of months we'll see. What would happen if everyone started using Bitcoin? Bitcoins are not made, I think, to replace currencies, but to augment them, to facilitate trade and to move wealth and value from one person to another without friction, without loss of 
uh, any, any kind of, of energy uh, without fees and without intermed intermediaries. It might happen that one day uh, these virtual currencies are in one way or the other regulated by the uh, authorities of, of nation states and by this become a part of the ordinary monetary system. It's on the radar of the Fed and of the ECB uh, because they're uh, afraid that a decentralized currency that's not under their control could undermine certain aspects of the monetary system. I do not see the day coming that the states let develop the global currency out of their control. Somehow the governments will have to deal with cryptocurrencies and crypto economics because it's nothing that can be stopped. Technologies cannot be collectively forgotten uh, only because a uh, president says so. Uh, the technology is there, it cannot be taken back. The genie is out of the bottle. We have to deal with it. It's also not a question if we want it or if we think it's good or bad. It's there. Sorry, we have to deal with it.